Sometimes unwanted things happen. Such unfortunate occurrences. Just the universe's kindly way of reminding us that our inner voice told us this might happen. Often with a little more care and attention, these things can be avoided. However, when these misfortunes do befall us, we are gifted a choice. Entwined with each setback is a lesson. And how we meet these moments of adversity will determine their impact and our progress. If we meet them with good grace and realize that they are just opportunities to improve, they will serve us well. So recently, my SSD hard drive decided to stop working. Prior to that, my backup hard drive decided to stop backing up. I was using Time Machine and it should have been deleting the old backups to make space for the new ones, but this wasn't happening. Rather than spend a little time researching and trying to fix the problem, I rode my luck, hoping that nothing would go wrong. Alas, that was not to be. I lost nearly a year's worth of work music projects, YouTube videos, a music video that I had more or less completed that I was really happy with, drum loops and other sounds I was preparing to release as sample packs, as well as the usual plethora of photos, videos and other personal data. I spent quite a lot of money getting my machine back up and running, spent several hours and many different methods trying to recover some of the lost data with no luck the ssd was toast thankfully scouring through some of the partial backups that i'd managed to initiate towards the end of 2022 did allow me to salvage some of the lost ones and zeros this digital information that represented countless hours of work work that i thought had been lost to the ether forever. Losing and then rediscovering this made me realise how precious it was to me, yet it also gave me the clarity to realise that everything in life is transient and that attachment can become its own trap. The true lesson in all of this is that as artists, we may work for our own enjoyment, for our own fulfillment, but it is in the sharing of our creations with others that we find a deeper meaning. Having that possibility taken away from me was perhaps more of a kick in the teeth than the loss of the actual data. Yet it made me realise how much I'd been procrastinating, trying to perfect every little detail and, in so doing, avoiding the scary forum of public opinion. Perhaps it is time to ease up on the perfectionism, to take the plunge and actually start sharing my creations with you and with the world. So, to that end, I would like to introduce my new sample pack.
textures. It comprises four volumes. which can be purchased separately or as one complete package. And in the true spirit of sharing, there is a light version which is completely free of charge. So if you'd like to get your hands on some free sounds, you can click the link below, download, and just start using them. The only thing you'll need to do is put in an email address. Hi guys, welcome to Unknown Audio. Today I'm gonna to do a bit of shameless self-promotion and uh, show you a new sample pack that I've got out. Then we're gonna try and make a track. So I'm gonna try and make the drums, uh, any melodic elements, as well as these atmospheric textures um, that these sounds are gonna provide us. Let's jump over to Logic. I'm going to start with, I really like this reverberant hi-fi one. I'm going to start there. Looks like we're making something at 110. So let's just extract some kind of kick from this. And this might not be as easy as I thought. Right, let's just uh, bounce that in place. We'll come back here, change the EQ. Ooh, that's muted. Okay, I think that sounds a bit like a reasonable kick to me. Let's maybe just. Okay, I quite like that. So I'm just gonna call that good for the kick. Maybe we could just uh, tweak this a little bit more. This might seem a little bit strange, but I'm gonna take that part out. I'm gonna have that as like the, uh, the attack. I'll shorten that a little bit. That sounds about right. I might try and get some of the highs out of this one. Okay. Okay, let's just compress it. Okay, bounce that in place again. We'll call that our kick, okay. Let's grab one of the other sounds. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, let's try and find. So I think there's a sound around here. Let's get rid of the low end. Okay, bounce. Uh, so that's going to be like a snare. Let's have a listen to these. Not too bad. Let's um, just put a free clip on there. Let's uh, get this kick sounding a bit better. Let's go, let's put rift on it.
Okay, let's use my favorite head crusher. Let's slam in. Right. Go EQ. Let's use a different one. I still don't like the attack of this kick. Quite like that. Let's check this one back. A better kick. Now we can that's better, All right? Okay, that's not bad. Let's um see if we can't improve this uh snare a bit. Okay, frequency shifter. Cool, let's uh, envelope it. Envelope it, I don't know how you want to say that. This is a free clip again, let's just copy that over. I think that sounds pretty cool, let's bounce that. Now we're getting somewhere. Can we take anything else from this first impact sound? Let's uh, high pass this. Maybe we can use it as a bit like a, a bit like a symbol, just kind of weird sort of atmospheric. That's kind of cool. Let's go. Right, we're, we're getting somewhere, we're making a loop. Okay, uh, now let's find something more musical. Okay, maybe we can just loop that, maybe we can just work with that. I don't know. I think this bit, the melodic bit, is going to be the difficult part, but maybe we can just pitch this. We'll try to just keep something very simple. That doesn't sound very good. <laughs> Let's try it's going lower. I'm hearing something very spooky and <laughs> let's do something like that. Let's copy that over. Now what we're gonna do on this higher sound, we're gonna put some reverb on it. Let's do some super massive. Oh, I've put that on the wrong track. Hang on, I'm using I'm still on the wrong track, right. God damn it. Maybe we want this really sort of in the background. Yeah, I quite like that. Okay, well, we've got the start of something here. 
what I might do is just uh, right, let's duplicate this layer. Let's take a small part of this and we'll just make a little hat out of it. That will do. Oops. We're going to maybe just fine tune these down a little bit. We'll make these quieter. Maybe we'll even delay these. Okay, now let's get a frequency shifter on there. That sounds about right. Okay, copy this over. I'm not liking this melodic element, these hats. I think we need to just make them a little bit more, I don't know, just a little bit more interesting somehow. Maybe if we... Uh, Just try and give it a bit more rhythmic emphasis. That's on the offbeat, maybe we need to have it the other way around. Can I just be handy if I could just flip that around? Well, let's just do it manually quickly. So something like that. Okay. What we haven't done at the moment, we haven't actually used any of the atmospheres. So let's go into dark tones. I'm thinking we want something a bit more musical. I suppose, um, I guess this strangest chords would be the most logical to use if we want some melodic. What is going on? Let's try this again. Strangest chords, thank you. That's more like it. It's going to be a bit odd. <clears throat> These are kind of weird sounds. Not the normal way I'd go about making a melodic instrument. Try and see what happens when we pitch this around. Uh, should we go up or down? Let's go up. Da -da. We'll come back down to three. Maybe. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's fade it up at the start. actually really like the bass in this so let's see if we can just isolate the bass and see if we can't tune it to try and match these chords okay what I'm gonna do let's pitch these up 12 just so I can hear it a bit better not work very well let's try plus one hmm. okay all right that seems to be working for me good enough for me so we're already plus one on this so we're gonna go plus five 
five. And then we want to go plus four, whoops, plus four. Something like that should do. Well, to my ears, that sounds like it's more or less in tune. I wonder if we could go an octave lower than that. Yeah. Not the most amazing little loop ever. I'm going to try and make these chords sound a little bit more lush. Try and introduce some more of these lower frequencies. Maybe some chorus or something. Let's use Snap Heap. I'm really loving this Snap Heap from Killer Hearts. T it. Why not? Let's just throw a limiter on so we're not clipping. Pull all these down a bit. Sell some space to work in, very important for mixing in my opinion. So we've got a bit of a loop going, so let's move this down to here, let's say, and let's try and uh, work on a little bit of an intro, and then maybe we'll polish it up a bit and we'll call that good. Right, so let's use one of these atmospheres. I don't know what key we're in with this. I suppose it would make sense to use this one because that's the sort of melodic element. Let's do that. What I'm going to do is we'll come back to our to the impacts shock and let's use this one's quite nice. Let's bring that in. Okay, let's move all of this back. So. Sorry, that's Jakey after his treats. There you go, mate. <clears throat> okay, what I think we'll do quickly, we're gonna just automate this in a little bit. Do you think that's a good idea, Jake, yeah? Okay, buddy. I don't know if he's saying yes or no. sounded cool and the drop now sounds horrible don't like these chord sort of things <clears throat> so let's try and see if we can get inspired to do something a little bit different for I don't like these weird pitchy kind of chord thing so what I might do let's let's bring in some reverb maybe yeah let's use realm I want to keep it fairly dark sounding I think let's cut a lot of the high frequencies out Maybe something simple like that for the bass. And then we just have these chords sort of hanging in space. And then maybe what we can do is take this chord and then I'm going to have to find 
uh, don't copy find the pitch for the bass for these for this bit let's copy all this lot over I don't know what note that is It's not great. Let's use a different. Right, let's use this. I'm going to use it as a riser. this we're going to bring that in like that let's stick that there let's unmute it let's bring the gain down though bounce that in place and we'll put a slow down on this okay slower slower kind of slow down Now, for these stranger chords, let's try, let's try a cable guys, half time. Let's see if that does anything. Okay, that's cool, I like that. I think maybe we need to change the drum pattern quickly. I think we need less high end on the snare. tighter this so I really like that reverse thing there I might see if I can use that at the start as well I've been out for a dog walk. I've come back somewhat refreshed and I think I'm just gonna work on this track a little bit more. Let's polish it up a little bit and then we'll give you a final run through and, and have a listen to this track made out of purely impact sounds and atmospheric sounds from my new sample packs. I might try tuning this a little bit. Okay, I like that. 
feel like this hat we could maybe improve this slightly. I might try a gate on it. Maybe we want to put this in a bit more of a space. I have a space modulator. That's better. Let's clean that up a little bit. Sample delay on this. So with the snare, let's um, maybe let's have a bit of a delay on that. I'm going to use this object delay. I really like this. Can add some nice textures. Uh, it's ping ponging. Let's take that off. Let's try super massive. Solo this. Let's put this back on. Let's go full, yeah, zero dry, so full wet. Bounce that in place. Now we've got this to use when we want. What happens if it's... Let's do it. What's this sound like if I just have this every other one? Let's copy that over. I don't want it quite as intense as that. That's kind of cool, right? So let's bounce that one in place. What I might do as well is bounce these in place with the longer reverb tail on it. I like it from there. So what I might do now is copy that. Let's reverse it. Get the gain down a little bit. Bring that in there. Like that. Something like that. Ah, now that's clashing that one there. Ah, it's probably because we've still got that there. Don't quite like it with that. quite like it without the snare there at all so what we could do maybe is reverse this uh, something like that maybe I don't know does it sound like there wonderful yeah that's cool right hmm maybe sounds pretty cool let's have a playthrough shall we leave it there i think we'll leave it there for today so this is the playthrough of the track or the intro and bit of a loop that we've just come up with using my new sample pack textures the impacts and the atmospheric volumes if you want to help me out and um, pick up some hopefully useful sounds i'd very much appreciate it let's listen to what we come up with using them
Okay, guys, hopefully that gives you an idea of how useful these sounds can be in your own productions. They can be quite versatile if you are willing to spend a bit of time morphing the sounds and turning them into your own thing, which you know I highly advise doing. But at the same time, if you just want to grab an impact sound or some weird kind of um, atmosphere that I've created with these packs, you can just drag them into your projects and they should hopefully um, help bring your own productions to life, whether that's music or whether that's a, a film, a short film, whatever it might be. I hope they're useful for you guys. If you want to check them out, you can go follow the link below. About the price of a coffee, so you can't really say fairer than that, can you? And you help out a struggling artist. So, you know, you can feel good about yourself as well. Um, anyway, I hope you appreciate that. And uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you again real soon. Peace out.